So you've been working on taking your privacy back, and now you are sitting there looking at your phone wondering what the hell am I going to do with my phone contacts. They're currently in Gmail, iCloud, or some other non-privacy respecting provider. Today I'll be showing you step by step how I securely store my contacts in the cloud for free using Nextcloud and sync them with my device. So before all the haters drop into the comment section, I understand this is not the optimal solution. Hosting your own cloud would be the ideal solution, but I think this method is vastly better than storing your contacts with a non-privacy respecting provider. So before we get started, I just wanted to give a quick overview of the steps we'll be taking today. The first thing we'll be doing is creating an account with a Nextcloud provider. After that, we'll be importing our contacts to that newly created account. And then finally, we'll be syncing our phone to the cloud. So the first step in the process is to head on over to nextcloud.com. I will leave links down below in the description that you can click if you want to reference instead of typing them out. So once you get to nextcloud.com, go ahead and hover over get nextcloud and then select sign up now, get a free account at a provider. So once this page loads, go ahead and select change provider at the bottom. And we can now see the full list of providers that offer free service. Each provider offers different services in their next cloud instance. You can reference those and see them here. But before we actually pick one, I do want to scroll down here to the provider's disclaimer. So same as the disclaimer at the bottom, do your own research, choose the provider you think is best based on your findings. And do remember this is a free service, so you get what you pay for. I would suggest keeping a local backup of your contacts just in case one of these providers decides to randomly end their free tier of service and deletes your data. Hopefully that would not happen. As I said before, I've been using this for months and have had no issues whatsoever. Another option would be to sign up for a paid plan, which usually comes with some sort of service level agreement. So with that out of the way, let's get back to picking a provider. For this example, I'm gonna be using Weibo Hosting. I don't know if I pronounced that correctly. They have a location in Germany and recently I've heard good things about Germany. So once you pick your provider, go ahead and select it. So you will need to enter an email address that can receive emails as you will be sent a validation link. If you don't click the link, then your account will be deleted in I believe it's nine hours or so. So go ahead and enter your email address. I agree to the terms of service. Optionally click the subscribe to our newsletter and then click sign up. So after about 15 seconds, you should be redirected to where you can set your password. So go ahead and set that. Again, here's that warning. After this step, you will receive a mail to verify your account within six hours. And once you set a password, go ahead and click login. And at this point, you have now successfully created an account and logged into Nextcloud. You can go ahead and click the little X in the top right hand corner, or you can go through the slides for a quick tutorial. So Nextcloud offers more than just contact storage. They have calendar, file storage, all sorts of different things. There is some documentation that comes in here by default, which I would suggest you read through and check out. It is free and open source software, so that means you can install it locally on your system at no cost and run your own instance of Nextcloud as well. But that's a topic for a different video. So as expected, there are no contacts yet. If there were, that would be kind of creepy. So now we have our hosting provider selected. The next step is to actually import our contacts. I'm going to be importing my contacts from a VCF file. The extension VCF stands for a variant call format. So wherever you currently have your contacts stored, they should allow you to export in this format or a similar one that can be imported to Nextcloud. I'll also leave some links down below in the description on how to export your contacts from popular providers such as Apple and Google. So once you have your VCF file and you are ready to import it, go ahead and click settings. At the bottom here, click import contacts. I'll be importing my contacts from a local file, but you can also import from a file you have stored in Nextcloud. So go ahead and click select local file, then browse to where you have that stored. Here's my file, personal.vcf, select open. I have two contacts in here. Once that's completed, click close. So once the contacts are imported, you can go ahead and click them to make sure everything imported correctly and looks as you would expect. So now that we have successfully imported our contacts to Nextcloud, the next step is to install the Sync app on our device. So for that, we're gonna be using an app called DevX5. I hope I pronounced that correctly. You can download it from Google Play, Aurora Store, or using F-Droid. My preferred method for downloading the app is using F-Droid, as I believe you need to pay $4.99 if you download it in Aurora Store or Google Play. So to download the app, we're gonna swipe up, go into F-Droid, click the search button, look for DevX5. You should see it here with the green icon. Select that, click install, select install. Once the app is installed, go ahead and open it. 
We're going to walk through the initial setup next. For this example, we're not going to be setting up tasks, so I'm going to go ahead and select I don't need task support next. Again, in this example, I'm just showing how to set up contacts, so I'm only going to allow contacts permission. Select allow. Next. I would suggest enabling this. This just lets DAVX sync regularly with our next cloud instance, but that is up to you. Once you enable that, click next. This next screen is about contributing to DAVX 5, which is open source. If you do use the app and enjoy it, I would suggest contributing if you do have the means. Click the check mark. So now that we've installed the app and walked through the initial setup, the next step is to set up syncing with Nextcloud. So for that, we're going to click the orange plus in the bottom right hand corner. On this screen, we're going to be using the advanced login at the bottom and select the base URL box. So to get the base URL that we need for this, we're going to head back on over to our web browser. And up here we can see HTTPS nextcloud 05webocloud This is the base URL that we're going to type in that box. This URL will change depending on which provider you selected. So type whatever one you have in your browser. And once you type that out, we also have a username and password. So check that box. And then type in the email that you entered when you signed up for your Nextcloud account and the password that you set. So once you get all that typed out, check the base URL confirmed you typed it correctly. Check the username, password, make sure everything looks good and then click login. This should take a minute to detect the server and sign in. So if your sign in is successful, you will see a screen like this that says create account. This is just to create an account locally in DevX to keep track of this next cloud instance that we're connected to. It's also worth reading the little paragraph below that says this email will be used if you create events. Again, we're only syncing contacts, so this is not relevant to us. And the last option on this screen is contact group method. I prefer groups are separate V cards, but select whichever one you want. So once everything looks good, go ahead and click on create account. So as I mentioned earlier, Nextcloud is more than just a contact syncing solution, which is why we see CalDAV and WebCal listed up here. In this video though, I'm only going to be focusing on CardDAV, which is contacts. So here we see listed contacts and recently contacted. All we need to select is the contacts one, and then select the orange refresh button in the bottom right hand corner. So we can swipe up, select the contacts app. I've noticed that after the initial setup, it takes a couple minutes for the contacts app on the phone to actually read the contacts from DabX. So give that a minute or two to complete. You can also try speeding it up by going back into DabX and clicking the sync button again. And then once we go back into contacts, we can now see our two contacts that we had listed in the web browser. One other setting I would suggest changing, click the hamburger menu, click settings, and then default account for new contacts, select that and then select DevX5. Otherwise, if you don't select that, new contacts could be created locally on your device. They will not be synced to the cloud. You lose your phone and you have a bad time. So at this point, any new contacts you add to your phone will sync to Nextcloud and vice versa. Nextcloud is an amazing piece of software, so take some time to look around, mess around with it, and see what else it can offer. I would suggest before you go all in on the syncing method that you test it out a few times, create some contacts, delete them, make sure they show up in your web browser, just make sure everything works as expected so there are no surprises in the future.